embryo development firstly when the morphologically normal and motile sperms get fertilized with the oocyte then the zygote or the first cleavage is formed then the four cellular stage then the morula then blastocyst and then the de embryo develops so the stages of implantation firstly the hatching occurs when the blastocyst forms then when it is injected when it is transferred then the zona the blastocyst and the zona pellucida hatches and then the apposition occurs then the attachment occurs then after that the invasion in which the cytotrophoblasts syncytotrophoblast occurs and then the hypoblast preamniotic cavity epiblast happens and then the fetus comes then so the hatching occurs mainly on day 5 or day 6 the apposition is on day 6 to day 7 then on day 7 to day 8 addition and day 8 to day 9 invasion so what the hatching is hatching is a blastocyst gets released from zona pellucida apposition is the very first loose connection between the blastocyst and the endometrium so basically after hatching the at plantation occurs in which the blastocyst slowly rolls on the surface aligns with the inner cell mass close to the epithelium then after that apposition occurs in which the very first loose connection between the blastocyst and the endometrium happens and then the adhesion in which the trophoblast adhere by penetrating the endometrium with the protrusion of trophoblast cells then the invasion in which the invade in which it invades into the uterine stroma so the blastocyst attaches to the endometrium endothermal epithelium which is adjacent to the embryonic pole the trophoblast differentiates into two different cell masses the first is the outer syncytotrophoblast which is multinucleated protoplasm and the other one is the inner cytotrophoblast the finger like processes of syncytotrophoblast extend through the endometrium and invade the endometrial connectivity of the tissues on day 7 the blastocyst gets implanted in the superficial superficial compact layer of endometrium and derives nourishment from it on day 3 the uh, sorry on day 10 blastocyst gradually embed deeper and the defect in the endo dermal epithelium is filled by closing a plug which is gradually repaired maternal blood filled lacun lacunae appear in syncytotrophoblast establish primitive nourishment of the placental circulation the role of the mediators in the implantation so the first is the estrogen in which the endometrium polyfrication occurs then the progesterone endometrial differentiation the c1 is in which the blastocyst enters the uterus and rolls freely over the endometrium under signals by l selectis l selectin the in the d1 the mu c1 repels the blastocyst and prevents its adhesion so endometrial areas with poor chances of implantation happens and even the chemokines and cytokines attract the blastocyst to the optimal implantation spot and in the f1 the adhesion molecules integrins and adheres formally attach to the blastocyst to the pinopods for successful implantation for more videos like subscribe and comment and more knowledge more regarding the implantation and regarding ivf more videos will or come thank you